welcome to Jared Berry Acts. Today we're going to react to Season 2, Episode 19 of Supernatural, entitled Folsom Prison Blues. Did our boys finally get locked up for all their crimes and endeavors that they've been on? Who knows? If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry will do his best work behind... Jerry will do his best work over here. Behind the scenes, just a few seconds. The last episode was just more of like, they're on vacation in Hollywood. It just it was just kind of there, you know? But this one, we're going to hop into it. I'm going to go ahead and put Jerry, boop, put him to work. And let's watch. Hello, my friends, we meet again. I am uh, unnecessarily tired at the moment. There's your tax dollars at work, huh? There's your tax dollars, brother. What the hell y'all unlocking? You got somebody locked up back here? Ooh, that's why. Y'all done fucked up. Hey, you feel that, man? It's a fucking ghoul. Look at this guy reading The Fault in Our Stars. Is that Gary Busey's nephew? Going down to B block, Randall again. Oh, Randall, what you been up to, brother? Hey! Shut up, boy! Hey! Come on, Randall. Randall. Randy, if you will. Pull the Shawshank Redemption, brother. That's a cool ass little flip switch you got there on your light. I figured they just turned that shit off at nine o'clock or something. Lights out, B block. Like that. I guess everybody has their own individual light, though. Put y'all on a fucking regulated schedule. I would hate that. I would hate everything about it. Luckily for me, I'm not a crimer. I'm gonna be doing the crimes. You had fucking Meryl Street behind you there for a second, brother. Pay attention. Ooh, there's the ghoul. There's the co- Ooh, shit. And camera's picking that up. Oh, not the arm. It's just broken. And now that's your ass. Yeah. Go ahead. Cue the intro. Randall's like, I fucking told you. Super natural. I don't know what it was. I didn't have it in me to, to scream super. I don't. Hey, things happen. Arkansas. Please explain, America. Why is this one Kansas? And this one is Arkansas. What is our Kansas? I am confusion. Folsom County Blues up in the prison, baby. Ding dong. That done triggered the damn doorbell thing. Shout out Donnie in. Oh, I didn't like that sound. That's a tomahawk. That's a kniff. Look what y'all boys done got yourselves into. Little B and E. Front. To the right. I call this one the blue steel. Yeah, that's great. Back right. and to the left. Back to the Zoolander's a great movie, by the way. I think I'm a oh, Henriksen, that was the... It is a pleasure to finally meet you. That's the FBI agent that was hunting him down a couple episodes back. I'm Special Agent Victor Henriksen. This is my partner, Special Agent Reed. Oh, he got a promotion. Henriksen did. Henriksen? Yeah. Not the Milwaukee Agent Henriksen. Live and in person. Baby. <laughs> they went nuts trying to find you. Ask him. He near went nuts. I near went nuts. After all of that. You get tripped up on a motion detector. Pretty rookie move. Damn. I gotta say, I was surprised. Why is he talking like Denzel? Y'all pick that up for a second? Hold on. Listen to this shit. Listen to him again. Pretty rookie move. I gotta say, I was. Gotta say, I was. Surprised. The way he said that, that's, 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 uh, he's tapping into some Denzel right there. Dean Winchester? In the flesh. And you are? That's right. Green River County Detention Center? They going to do something where this lady right here is going to get spooked. Either that or Henriksen. And amongst all the things they got going on, there's going to be goosty ghouls that she's not going to believe about. And then the goosty ghouls are going to show up. And Sam and Dean's going to save the day. And they're going to say, 
Now, if you were to just walk away from here, I'd have to turn around and look the other way. I never seen you leave, Sam and Dean Winchester. You boys behave. Is that the episode? Let's find out. And considering the charges you're facing, no judge in his right mind is going to grant you bail. Yeah, we figured that. I call top bunk. Hey, Dean. You can call top all you want to. But we know deep down in your heart, you're a bottom. And that's okay. It's okay to be a switch. I was doing the Nintendo Switch thing there, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted to. Anyways. Career of dumb and crazy. Calm down. I was about to say, did you guys intentionally get arrested? showing up was part of the plan. Yeah, I got moves a little faster than I thought. Look, all we gotta do is find this ghost. Okay, so they're getting locked up to get closer to the cell. I was thinking for a second, like, this conveniently puts them closer to the cell. But knowing that they were like, hey, you know what? Let's go get fucking locked up, brother. What do you think? After all this time, let's just get chained up. Suck it down and grab her. So it wasn't a rookie move, Hendrickson. Suck a butt. So it's a couple of those teardrop tattoos. It's not funny. Y'all ain't killed nobody. You ain't earned one of them teardrops. It's a hundred percent sure thing. I wouldn't have gone in if it wasn't. Sorry, I watch where you're going. Yeah, sure. I just He said he was sorry. You talking to me? You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hey, you fucking Are you talking to me? Hey, you fuck Another me. Another guy who's seen Taxi Driver one too many times. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to you. Taxi Driver's a great movie. Trust me. Let it go. Hey, come on. See, I'll tell you to talk to these guys. Instant respect. We're about to get wobbed in the back of the head. Oh, they're whispering. Oh, there's Big Jimmy. That's Big Jimmy right there. Oh, great. Oh, you missed. Oh, we got you. Right now. No harm, no foul. <gasps> not the toes. Oh, not the balls. Oh, not the face. On your feet, Lucas. Mr. Boss. We having fun yet, huh? Oh, we having fun, yeah. Yeah. They got, like, the nicest looking people to be, like, inmates. Tell me this guy right here isn't a dad of three daughters that he would do anything in this world for. Nothing about this dude screams intimidation. Like this guy right here likes to sit down in his lazy boy recliner, maybe catch the game. He may drink a beer every now and then, but he's not a big beer drinker. He loves sandwiches. I say it often about a lot of people, but man right here, he really likes a sandwich that consists of turkey, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and mayo. That's his sandwich. Sometimes two sandwiches if he's feeling, you know, peckish. Chips of choice, some plain lays. I feel like he's a plain lays kind of guy, but he'll mix it up every once in a while and grab like a Dorito, you know, not too much Cheetos. Doritos like right in just, just enough for him. Uh loves to cook, especially barbecue. And he loves to make brisket sometimes on the weekend. But the one thing he loves more than anything is his three little girls. He's been married, I don't know, 20 some odd years. Married his high school sweetheart. Likes to laugh and have fun. Even if a game is on, if one of his little girls needs something, he stops what he does and pays attention to them. And even then, even in, even in moments, no matter what's going on around him, it could be the Super Bowl. If his daughter came up and said, Daddy... Let's play makeup. He'd put on a princess dress, get his nails did, maybe a little eyeliner, some eyeshadow, maybe some blush. This is this guy. He's a wholesome boy. You know how I can tell? It's in his eyes. He has gentle eyes. And one of two things, people look like this are either super wholesome and friendly, or they hide bodies under their basement. I'm going to go with the former rather than the latter. I like this guy. Ooh, there's a CGI fog. Oh, brother. Hey, I think Lucas may get uh, another one bites the dust. Let's say it was like 8.30. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but let's pay Lucas, attention. Listen to me. Stay very still. I 
Hey, Lucas, man. We ain't got no beef with you, brother. We're just trying to hang out. Ow! No! No! Oh, got you by your... Fucking what? <laughs> what? God, dog, son. Henderson. Hello. Okay. I don't think. Is this a bit that he's doing? Does he normally talk like this? I don't think he talked like this the first time we seen him, man. All I hear is Denzel. Grown-ups are trying to get some work done here, so if you don't mind. I think it's when he drops the voice. Yeah. Grown-ups trying to get some work done. Hey, bro, don't be a dick, okay? He was there. You know, I was there too the night that lunatic bought her. Yeah? It was a heart attack, right? Sure, his heart stopped right after the guard stopped using his head for batting practice. Jesus. Morning, I was in his cell mopping up the blood. What a mess. Wait, so he, he was... Didn't they mention Moody, like, in episodes back? Am I wrong on that? I feel like they I feel like they mentioned him something else. Either that or I'm thinking of another killer from like season one or maybe earlier in this season. I can't put my finger on it. But I feel like shit, stop pressing the space bar. But I feel like they mentioned Moody at some point. So he's probably like a vengeful spirit, right? We reported it. Yeah, you kept your mouth shut unless you wanted to die from the same heart attack, you know? It's fair. You out here hustling oh, yeah. peeps and some motherfucking cards, brother. That's a whole lot of smokes. The Newports. Picking low hanging fruit. You don't even you smoke. Don't even smoke. Yeah. I'm kidding me. This is a currency of the realm. Facts. Look, Dean to... fits in a little too well in prison. We caught on to that yet? He, he's thriving. Lead on Moody. Yeah, me too. The spirit paid a little visit last night. I don't like how good the jumpers fit them. They look good in jumpers. You know? That shouldn't be a thing. Okay. I'm really pretty sure. I get that strand of spaghetti. Just curious, is that like a thyroid problem or is that some deep seated self esteem issue? Because you know they're uh, they're just donuts, they're not love. <laughs> he said, hey, I come. Oh, he ate that. Oh, he ate that. Oh, he's eating it. Yeah. I also think Big Guy is probably a Philadelphia Eagles fan, and he also probably really enjoys Golden Corral. I can't really tell you why, but I had to get you angry. So, uh, anyway, sorry. It's okay. Truth is, I have low self-esteem issues. Listen to his voice. It's just a dad. My old man treated me and my brother like crap right up to the day he died. How'd he die? My brother shot him. Fair enough. Okay. Did you take the fall for him? What's going on? Yeah, you don't leave him in the dark. Salt. Is that salt? What is that? Is that a... Like the thing you, you semen in? You put your semen in at the doctor's office? To test your sperm count? What is it? Oh man, Tiny's so concerned about you because he's like, you're his son. Oh, no, Tiny. not Tiny. Oh, God. God. Oh. Not Tiny, bro. Wait, so you're telling me it wasn't Moody? No. Was going around dressed like a nurse. Poor Tiny, man. I really like the character I gave all the lore for. That hurts me. I don't know, man, I guess. Uh oh. Dean, at this point, I don't know, I guess, isn't really working for me. See, uh, I thought we were done. I called Deacon. It's happening. We're getting out tonight. I'm just going to have to ask you to trust me on this. Why should I? Henriksen says you're a monster. Henriksen don't know dick about I'm... shit. Uh... <laughs> well, he's wrong, okay? I'm not what they say I am. Everybody says that. Look, if you're as smart a PD as I think you are, then you can tell with just one look whether or not your clients are guilty, okay? Just like that. So I want you to look at me. Really look. And you tell me, am I guilty? 
Ooh, she got tears in her eyes, bro. We're not the bad guys. We're not. We're fucking the protagonist. Is this part of your plot and plan, or you guys uh, you got some actual Winchester beef? Deacon, you are beating the holy hell out of me, man. <sighs> Sorry, Dean. I thought I was going easy on you. This whole entire time, I'm going to be 1,000% honest with you guys. I'm like, who the fuck is Deacon? And have we met him? I was going to wait to the end of the episode to be like, hey, who is Deacon? And when have we met him? I have nothing. Please give me a timestamp. I was like, man, I don't want to say I don't know who Deacon is. What if they attack me for getting something that happened in season one, episode fucking nine at the 21.3 minute mark? <coughs> I just inhaled spit. I was so stressed. <coughs> I'm back. Um. Yep. Deacon. I love when you get me. When I don't know, I don't know. And I appreciate that. Hell yeah, brother. Yep. All right, then. Let's get you the hell out of here. Don't worry, Deacon. We'll get rid of this thing. Good, because I want it out of my prison. Boys, uh... I can't thank you enough for this. I know I was asking a lot, but you still came through. Daddy raised you right. No. You know he's a bit of a hard ass, but... Hope to see you again, huh? Um, uh -huh. Make it look real, son. He said lay it in, bitch. Yuck! All right, sorry. I had to get that out of my system. Get in the car! Good point. I ain't never seen two people that always have to be on the go and they're staying outside the car and have a conversation where you can have that same conversation in the goddamn vehicle. In the shits. And just three hours later, he just happened to bust out. And now tell me what he said. I don't think she has to give that information, does she? Oh, y'all better hurry up. See... Move, sometimes you got to move with purpose, right? You have to get out of the car, grab the shovel, grab the shit, like, da, 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 ch -ch -ch, salt, ch -ch -ch, fucking, uh, rah, 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 gasoline, match, leave, fucking leave. I'd be so good at this. I'd be in and out. No time for the camera to even focus on me. If Hendrick can get to the lawyer, I thought she couldn't say anything, you know? What? Why? I don't know. What else? They wanted to know where she was buried. Did you find out where? Yeah. Did you tell them? Say no. Yeah. <laughs> tell me. Mountainside Cemetery, created by the Duffy Brothers. Uh, I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking is, it's like they've already they've already did the shit right, and they're just showing like maybe like a mini flashback. He's gonna walk up, ain't nobody gonna be there, but a hole in the ground. Oh, they're about to be just in the nick of time. Watch about to stop. Also, gonna be 8:30 again on the dot. Yoga, fire! There you go. Set that mother lover, mother brother. Oh, oh. Flame on! Flame gone. She fucking dead. Done dotted. Really? Got some roosters up in this bitch? Ooh, she said Mountainside Cemetery. That shit was in the Green Valley. Shout out the public defender. You know, we ain't gonna die. Ah. I still hoping to keep going. I vibe with that song heavily. Folsom Prison Blues. After hearing about a ghost that has been killing off prison inmates one by one, Sam and Dean decide the best way to investigate is from the inside. 
Hey, man, that one was good. That's a good, like, paced episode with... Uh, I like when they don't kind of tell us stuff and they kind of make us do our own little investigation throughout the episode to figure out what's going on. And uh, I, I enjoy... Hold on. Folsom Prison. Is that about prison? It's not. There we go. I enjoy when they don't give us all the answers and it's like okay well why are they in jail is this a plan are they fighting and then you get the answer a couple minutes later i really really like that i like not knowing what's going on in the show and i like the misdirect they've been doing here the last few episodes that shit's fire not knowing that was deacon the whole time i'm like bro who is deacon i don't know it can be pretty stressful but i did enjoy that episode a lot especially coming off the heels of the last episode i have to say a lot of people get you know, they use the word loosely or the phrase loosely. I think last episode 18 was a filler episode. I didn't really get too much enjoyment out of it. It just kind of like happened. It came and went, right? But now we're getting into what I like to call the home stretch, okay? We still know that this blue-eyed demon is out there. He's out there somewhere doing the damn thing. We don't quite know yet. Um, We got... I say blue-eyed demon, yellow-eyed demon is out there. Uh, we got the FBI chasing him down. Somebody just is fucking speeding down the street like an asshole. Like, this is a neighborhood. You're going to kill somebody. And they're going to end up in Folsom County. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of, uh, else to go off of. Obviously, we can't have him be moping the whole time about what's going on. It's not that type of show, but like the whole, uh, was her name Miranda? Madison. The whole Madison stuff could still be lingering on Sam. I mean, their pops died in the first episode, and we really haven't had any direct contact with the yellow-eyed demon since then, other than the one kid during the Croatoan episode that was like, yes, the Winchesters are immune, just as we suspected. Like, okay. What the fuck was that about? It seems like they got a lot of shit we got to cover. I'm looking forward to it all. I'm just glad that that was a better paced episode than, than the last one. Uh, looking over the people that was in this episode, I don't actually know them. Where's Tiny at? Cliff Kosterman. I like this guy. I mean, he did. He's been in a lot of weird... Oh, dude, that movie in White Noise? I forgot about that. White Noise was pretty uh weird. Oh, that's cool. He's part of the crew on Supernatural. He's a part of everything other than episode one, working the crew. And then obviously he uh, he had some acting stuff. Hey, man, that's pretty damn dope. I like that a lot. A lot of bodyguard, a lot of security guard. Listen to everything he's ever been in. Beautiful Joe, bodyguard. 3,000 miles to Graceland, bodyguard. Together the series, bodyguard, trapped, bodyguard. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's a bodyguard in security on set. That's not his acting career, is it? Yeah, that's just crew work. He's only he's only been in a few things acting wise. So never mind. That's pretty sick. He's only six foot. So they must have put him in some shoes to make him look bigger. That's pretty dope. All right. Anyways, enough rambling about that. I don't have too much to say about it. Not enough breakdown. It's just another case of uh, they got the information they needed. They were working on the inside. They, they planned to get captured, and their public defender helped them out. She knew that they weren't guilty, so why do it? And we still have Henriksen, who's like, it's like a yo-yo cat and mouse game right now. And I think he enjoys the chase, which is pretty cool. So we'll see what the next three episodes have in store for us. The next three episodes, of course, like I said, being the home stretch. Season 2, Episode 19, Folsom Prison Blue. Season 2, Episode 20 is entitled... What is and what should never be. And I'll see you there. I have links and everything in the description box down below. A playlist up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.